rather than doubling or adding a second agent, we really should be giving these women a hormonal therapy. So the most likely time for a woman to commit suicide is between the ages of 45 and 55. And do you, is, do you think that's linked to 100%. menopause? Right. So we know that mental health, we have an increase in mental health disorders, either pre-existing getting worse or new onset of about 40% across the transition. And we look at um, SSRI prescriptions, which are antidepressants. They double across the menopause transition. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is we weren't treating menopause with hormones, so they just, SSRIs can actually help a hot flash, uh, certain types. So, you know, Paxil is one of the ones that has been proven to decrease hot flashes some. It's not great, but it works a little bit. And with all of the mental health changes, a lot of women are ending up on these antidepressant medications. So we don't want to go a year without estrogen. So we know that some of the new data coming out when I was researching for the new perimenopause, there's a really great window of using hormones to treat mental health disorders um, and seeing improvement in mood and also some in cognition by giving estrogen or estrogen plus the progestin early in perimenopause before the periods actually stop. And it actually works better than an SSRI. Rather than doubling or adding a second agent, we really should be giving these women a hormonal therapy. Well, now, that doesn't hold postmenopause. So this is really a perimenopausal kind of window of opportunity. In postmenopause, they aren't responding as well, and probably because the estrogen labels have stabilized. So postmenopause, the menopause, um, that's why the suicide rates kind of peak in this key perimenopause area, and we think. And so in postmenopause, they the hormone levels stabilize, so women tend to get better. And so they do respond better to the SSRIs for, for new onset anxiety and depression in those patients.